Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If my face is not familiar at all, my name is Sailor. Welcome to my channel. I hope you're gonna stay and subscribe and for today's video I'm gonna be doing a glowy makeup look. So it's gonna be like glossy lips glowy skin and a fluffy brow just in time for summer i feel like this tutorial is like for me this is what i'm going to be doing every single day and i have been doing this almost every single day since it's been hotter outside like this has been my go-to situation so i'm super excited to be sharing this tutorial with you guys and without any further ado let's just jump straight into this tutorial don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and let's jump straight into this tutorial <laughs> Okay, so I think I need to start. My lips are so dry, it looks like I've got no lips. Okay, so I need to definitely start by tying my hair back because this is just not gonna work for me. And it is not a vibe. So I'm just gonna tie my hair into I think like a high bun just to get it out of my face. Yeah, so let's actually just jump straight into this. So, so in a nutshell, I'm going for a glowy, blurry skin look because I'm going to be mostly using liquid products for everything and not really going for any powders except for just like setting my face a bit so yeah let's just jump straight into this tutorial I'm going to start with doing like a little bit of a skincare vibe because I feel like the tip to having a good fresh looking foundation is always having the freaking vacuum is making such a noise but I'm gonna carry on anyways if you can hear it like literally just ignore it but I'm gonna start by going in with some skincare because I feel like the tip and the trick well not the tip and the trick just the general thing that people always forget when they're trying to go for like this healthy look is they don't do enough skincare so I'm gonna do a bit of skincare first and I'm gonna be using this new pixie vitamin C range I got sent the whole range from the pixie um, peeps <laughs> I got sent the whole range so I'm going to be going in with the serum, the vitamin C lotion, and the vitamin C caviar balms. So, I'm going to just, I'm not going to bother with like a tonic or toner now, like I'm not in the mood for like getting cotton and stuff. So I'm just going to put a few drops on my hand, and I'm going to rub this into my clothes. I've just put an instant tanner on my body, so that is why my face is so white at this moment. I actually have in self tan. I put an instant tanner on just to make myself dark for this video. <laughs> okay, then I'm gonna go in with vitamin C lotion and you need a little bit of this, like you don't need much at all. <laughs> Guys, I've actually been struggling my ass off with the change of season at the moment. Like I'm really not doing good, guys. Spring and my allergies are just too much for me. I actually can't even deal. Okay, and then the last thing I'm just going to go in with is obviously the caviar balm. I'm just moving the serum away from my situation because the last one that I got, the Glow Tonic Serum, I dropped it and then the whole glass dropper shattered inside. I still used it. I was not going to not use it because it was basically still full. So I probably rubbed glass shards all over my face without even realizing it, but it's fine. <laughs> Maybe that's why my skin is actually finally acting up because I basically went for needling with glass in a bottle. But I never ever bled, so let's just... Okay, I'm just going to drop it right now. <laughs> As you probably noticed, my setup is really different. I am really laid back and casual at this moment i just wanted a white wall and a comfy chair to sit in because i'm so sick and tired of sitting on like these stools without backrests and they hurt my back so bad when i film for too long okay so then the next step you want to take i'm also just going to put on a bit of an eye cream this is the clinique um repair blah, 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 repair laser focus wrinkle eye correcting cream i know i don't have wrinkles but prevention is key so skincare is done okay so the primer i'm going to be using today is this Revlon Rose Glow. Um, it's a hydrating and illuminating primer and I really have been loving this so much. The only thing I don't like about it is the dropper is really pointless. Like it doesn't really even pick up anything. But other than that, the product is amazing. They shouldn't have wasted their time with making it a dropper though. They should have just made it like a stick in there. Like, like a spatula inside. So I'm just gonna rub this all over my face. It gives the skin such a natural glow and it also just hydrates it so much while also leaving it like glowy. The next thing you want to go in with is like a hydrating slash luminous foundation just to give you more of 
a glow from within because you don't want to be putting on like a really thick matte foundation because then it just you totally like missing the point of glowy natural skin because hydrating foundations make your skin glowy and look healthy whereas a matte foundation if you put too much on and if you don't use it right it just makes your face look dry so for the foundation i'm going to be going in with this l'oreal 24 hour fresh wear this is the infallible foundation and unfortunately my shade 250 is finished so i have to mix 260 and 200 together so i'm just going to mix this on a clear lid this is my essence bronzer lid so i'm going to do two pumps of 260 and then one pump of 200 and then in your foundation you want to add a liquid there goes the vacuum again a liquid illuminator so previously i was using this inglot um face and body illuminator but i got sent a new one from burnt cosmetics this is what it looks like it's more of a coppery warm toned liquid highlighter so i'm gonna give this a bash if this fails then just rather use a lighter um, liquid highlighter but i'm gonna give it a try because i want to test it out so i'm just gonna put one pump in there it's kind of like a rosy gold kind of look it doesn't want to focus but you get the point so i'm gonna put like one and a half let's just give it like a more of a glow i'm gonna grab a brush just to mix it all together because this has got a very nice color coming along here and then i'm gonna just brush the all over my face and then I'll blend it out with a beauty blender oh it's a bit dark okay I'm gonna have to add a little bit of 200 a little bit more because I think the illuminator made it very dark because usually I use like a white illuminator as I showed you the Inglot one is like very white so it actually kind of lightens up the situation but it's okay I did just tan my body so it should not be a train smash so I have already wet my beauty sponge and I'm just gonna blend everything out Okay, so now I'm just going to go in with my concealer and I'm using the LA Gold Pro Concealer in the shade Natural. So I've been using this since I started makeup. It's literally the best. You also kind of just want to conceal over areas that are standing out. Like any pimples or anything. And then I'm obviously going to blend it out again with the same sponge. Okay, so then instead of using a powder bronzer, I'm going to be going in with a liquid bronzer just to keep the liquid theme going. So you just want to keep the skin more blurred rather than powdery. So I'm going to be going in with this L'Oreal Havana Camila Cabello collection. With this, it's called the Sun Lit Bronzer for light to medium skin. And I don't know if this is available anymore, but when I did get it, I did tell you guys to go buy it. So don't shout at me now that you never went and bought it because I said this was amazing. <laughs> so I'm going to be going in with that same brush that I used to apply my foundation. And I'm going to apply this bronzer in all the places that you would usually put your bronzer. This looks really potent when I'm applying it, but it literally blends up to the most gorgeous natural bronze ever. I'm also going to put a little bit on my eyes. It's got like a gold undertone to it, so it's like really summery and fun. It's like not supposed to be a nose contour, I'm just saying. It's just supposed to be like bronzing up the nose. So I'm just going to blend this out. It blends out effortlessly. Super duper effortless. I really love this stuff so much. I'm sure there are other liquid bronzers on the market. I just really love that one so much. Okay, so now I'm just going to blend out my forehead and then we can get going with the next step. Although there's not many steps to this because it's a very natural, glowy look. This usually takes me like super quick if I do it for a daily look because obviously won't um, be talking. I'll just be doing it. So now I'm just going to be setting my face very lightly with the powder. I'm not going to be going crazy because you don't want to dry out all the moisture going on and glowiness going on on my face. 
So I'm just going to be grabbing, I lost the lid, the lid broke. <laughs> I'm going to be grabbing this Rimmel London Stay Matte. It's actually like a foundation powder or whatever, but it's like it blurs your skin like crazy. So I'm just going to be going in with this and I'm going to be using like a brush like this. And I'm just going to pat this around my face. It absolutely blurs the skin like you cannot believe. The only time I'll do my foundation before I do my brows and my eyes is when I'm doing a glowy look because you want it to be very blown out and way less structured. I don't think I need to add more bronzer. I might. I might not. We'll see how it goes. But I'm going to go in and do my brows now because I need to do them. So I'm just going to start by brushing them up. And then I'm going to go in with this label. It's gone, but it's Benefit Give Me Brow. And I got it in the shade... Can I just stop dropping it? I got it in the shade 4.5 and I'm just gonna brush this through my brows just to just like keep them up like this. This is the brows I've been doing almost every single day and I've got so many compliments on my Instagram about my brows because they look so bushy and so natural and it's so weird because it's hardly any product that I'm using and that's like the funniest part because like everyone always thinks you need like the best and the most product to make your brows look nice but you really don't. So now my brows are brushed up and then I'm going to be going in with the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil and I'm using the shade 4.5 once again and I'm just going to fold them in. Guys, I'm sorry about the lighting, like it keeps getting dark and then it keeps getting light, soft boxes are actually like not helping the situation at all. I'm just gonna fill the bottom in of my brow very lightly. I'm not going in with a heavy hand at all. Okay, so I filled in the bottom of my brows and now I'm just going to go in at the top of here by the arch and just define my arch a tad bit more. I do want to keep it fluffy and natural but you also just want to define your natural shape a tiny bit. Just like that. Like I'm not going to go further than past the arch. Okay, and then I'm going to take the brush and I'm just going to brush this all out to make it look very soft and natural. So it gives you that fluffy effect like that if it would focus. And if there's any patches or stuff you aren't happy with, just go in and touch them up. Give it more shape if you feel it's necessary. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to add some soap to my brows to give it that brushed up look. So basically what I did with this is I bought one of those pure glycerine soaps. And then I had this hand cream container that was finished. And I don't like throwing things away if I know I can reuse them. So then I like clicked one day, why don't I melt the glycerine soap and then mold it into here. And then I can travel with it. And it looks way more professional than carrying a bar of soap especially then I can use this on my clients so I'm going to be doing the soap brows I'm just going to take my MAC Fix Plus this is the mini MAC and I'm going to spray onto my soap, grab my spoolie brush and then just to give myself a fluffy brow look because fluffy brows is everyone's weakness at the moment. I think everyone is just like in love with the whole fluffy brow look. I'm going to do just like a really light eyeshadow. And I'm just going to be taking my Maybelline Master Bronze. And I'm just going to be mixing all of those together and just putting it on my lid. I don't want to go for anything too dramatic because... It's supposed to be a very natural look and a natural glowy look, so I don't want to overdo it. So I kind of just take my brush and I go like this through them all and I top it off. And then there's one thing I've been doing lately is I take um, a darker highlighter. So I'm just going to go in with this Glam Glow. <sighs> I can't even remember what this is called, but it's the Glam Glow Limited Edition Highlighting Palette. It's not available anymore, unfortunately. And I'm just going to take this darker highlighter, so it's like a bronzed color. And I'm just going to put this on my lid. This is a fluffy brush, because you don't want to make it too intense. You just want to kind of dust it over your lid. So, I don't know if I want to apply lashes. I think I'm going to keep it natural and just use a lash primer and a lash and then a mascara. Just to keep it like fairly neutral and natural, because I don't want to like make this look like too much. Like, I want to sort of keep it more on the natural side so i'm going to be going in with the l'oreal paradise ecstatic lash primer and mascara this is the normal non-waterproof one and i'm just going to apply this onto my lashes okay so 
So I apply most of it towards the outside of my arm because that's where I want most of the drama. Okay, then I'm going in with my mascara and this is really actually drying out now that I realize it. But I still love this mascara so much. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I love this mascara so much. It really just makes my lashes look so amazing. So then, now that like that whole situation is done, I feel like this doesn't look nearly as glowy on camera. It's actually ridiculous. I'm just gonna go in with this Glam Glow highlighter. I'm gonna be using the middle shade that is Hit Pan. And I'm just gonna be putting this on my face because I want a glow. Although my whole face is actually glowing, I just wanna add a little bit more of a glow on my cheeks. So for my lips, I'm gonna be going in with the lip liner. It's from MAC. It's called oak i just need to quickly sharpen it because it's blunt as hell then i'm just gonna line my lips i like to overline the middle part of my bottom lip and then i like to overline the cupid's bow Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with my NYX lip lingerie in Push Up. This is my favorite lip ever. Nothing compares to this color in the world. Like, or maybe not in the world, but like out of everything I've tried, nothing compares. And especially for the price. Okay, so then I'm gonna go in with a glass. I'm gonna be trying a new glass. This is also from Burnt Cosmetics. They recently sent me like a cute little drop and then they also sent like, I'll show you. They did like a collaboration with like a swimwear brand. So with their highlighter and their lip gloss, they obviously also sent over a bikini because it's obviously a swimwear brand. And I was actually looking to buy a bright yellow bikini because Blaze is like you have to get a bright yellow bikini because it looks so good on you and like they sent me a bright yellow bikini like it's actually like so insane sometimes how like life works out so then I'm just gonna add this glass it's kind of like an iridescent it looks really nice so oh my word this smells just like a MAC lipstick it's got that sweet almost smells like a tic tac I feel like this applicator is very stingy with product I really like this gloss. It looks very nice and it smells very nice. And as soon as something looks nice and as soon as it smells nice, it's absolutely a bonus for me. I love it when things smell delicious and I'm so glad that that does. Okay guys, so this is the completed look. Um, I think it's, it's very subtle but at the same time it gives like enough drama for it to be not only a day look if you know what I mean so if you add a little bit of a darker color around the eyes it would easily be like dressed up so um, that is how I do my fluffy brows glowy skin and glossy lips I really love this look at the moment and especially with summer coming soon it's literally exactly what I live for in summer I mean I don't even think I wear makeup half the time in summer but like if I do, this is what I'm going to be wearing. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I feel like my skin could be a little bit glowier, but I think it's because it's like quite dry at this moment that it's not really looking glowy because it's just holding on to every single bit of moisture, but it's because it's my own fault. I haven't been looking after my skin lately. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed it and subscribe. I don't know how many times I'm telling you this, but please subscribe to my channel to mean the world to me and bye